Alright, I am back. Drew with Drew's Roofing and Home Repair. We are in Carolina Beach. We're getting ready to start a new rubber roof. This rubber roof has TPO rubber on it. Every five or six feet there's a seam. And it's a heat welded seam. You can tell it's very small. And this is what's happening. Been going on for quite some time. They've been fighting the leak. But this is what happened. The seam came apart. And when the seam comes, this stuff shrinks. And so it shrunk, you got to cut it. And when it shrunk, as Paul cuts, you can probably just throw it on the ground. get it, Put it in a place where you can carry it to the trailer. Just be careful where you're walking on it. Yeah, hey, have you? Hey. So the first thing we got to do here is tear all this off. This is what they this is what they put on TPO roofs. And then under that is just your regular mobile home roof. Like the original ones that we're going back to. And this thing's been leaking. So nice so. We're gonna put it right back to that and then apply with it with that. TPO rubber on insulation board. Yeah, give him a knife. Tear this all off. Get all the insulation board off. Throw it all away. Start over with fresh plywood. Turn it off. Turn it off. What you looking for? Quarter driver. Some of them. Right You be able to walk on it. Be able to walk on it. Alright, so we found out that this hole right here goes to a closet downstairs that has a heater in it. And uh, so the vent, the cup, the. The hole that was here used to, used to go down to a pipe, and now it doesn't. It goes to that. So that's the return air, and the return air is on the floor right there. So we don't need it. We cover that hole over. One more hole in the roof we can get rid of. This is awesome. Look at that. Yeah, got a man made overhang there. Great. Doing it right here. Because you'll end up doing damage like that right there, and and you can't. It's unrepairable almost. I mean, it's almost unrepairable. Don't walk on your mobile home roof if it looks like this. You will have problems. Cause more damage than you can imagine. We're adding an overhang here. There'll be a six inch overhang there. Excuse me, moving so much. There'll be a six inch hang over here, all the way down. On the other side, and it will dive right over here. It's gonna dive. Our six inch overhang is gonna dive end right there. At the transition, gonna end right here. 
and then this rubber will go over and that rubber will come over. We'll have a piece of turn bar that runs straight up there. We're going to close this off with plywood so our rubber can go up that wall and then down over the face of it. Close it right up. Make it look nice. You got a piece of plywood coming up. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Nice overhang. And box it in on the front. Another one right there. That screw's not holding nothing. I don't think it's anything. What? Looks good. Sink vent. That's a breather vent, believe it, not as small as it is. Yeah, you got to do the whole roof. All the seams. All the seams. And where you put screws in sometimes. He's gonna lay the rubber up here for the night, right? Yes, now. No. Not with all the screws we got in it, it wouldn't. Not with all the screws we got in it, it wouldn't. Yeah, so you'll never stop this thing from leaking. You run the shingles. I mean, this is a, just imagine you got your roof right here, and then you tie a porch into it and you run shingles, or your, your uh, roofing, plywood, whatever, just butt it up against the chariller, and then you run felt paper on it, which is this, and then you put shingles on it, again, over the top of that. When there's no pitch at all to start with, you're going to run into trouble. There's no way you're going to seal that off, and they couldn't seal it off either, obviously, so. And uh, just look at underneath of this how rough the felt paper is laying down. That's a 30 pound felt. It looks like they laid it every maybe 16. I'm not sure I haven't found that out yet, but very thick. 30 pound felt paper. Peel and seal under that. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on right here at the edge of this house. It makes it almost impossible to tie into. So if you're building a house or a porch onto your mobile home, you're going to have a hard time tying it into the house. The best way, in my opinion, is there's a gutter that runs around the house normally. Um, you can slide your, build your porch a little bit lower than the gutter, and then slide a piece of metal up underneath that piece of gutter and down to use it for a counter flashing on your last row of shingles. And I think that will, that would work. That's about the only way. Very difficult to line one up. 
with the trailer and stop the water. Anyways, this little word of advice. Other than that, we have one big piece of 60 mil rubber on this house. He wanted 60. No trees around or anything, but he wanted 60 anyway. We're doing it in one piece. So, sometimes on transitions, you have a little bit of wrinkle trouble. We'll see what happens. Got a little whoop de doos here and there. There's nothing you can really do about it. It is what it is. And uh, we're plowing this thing in. Paul is putting these. This is what we do to get ready for the 2 by 4s to go on. Go all the way down that whole edge. Put a screw in for every one. And you're getting ready. I hate shingles. I hate them. I hate shingles. Yeah, I hate them. Looking good. Alright, so our next step was running all these tuba forts around the outside edge. So I'll let your plywood hang out. Tuba four self pitch. That's what we're gonna attach the metal to. Make it just as straight as we can. Porch we're going to put rubber on. There's a lot of excess nails and staples in it. Ran into some rotten wood. We knew we would. Knew it was gonna be rotten. Right here. Clean it up. Cut it. Get rid of it. Change it out. Go so two pieces. Clean up all the nails because you don't want any nails on there. Getting ready for metal. That's it, baby. Pretty much bend it up ahead of time and get it ready. Box it in down here. Don't let it get away from me. I said, let, don't let it get away from me.
So we'll glue this one on tonight. We'll glue this one on tomorrow. rubber on this section. So, today we have the rubber on this porch glued down. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, man. Good morning. What do you think? That's heavy duty right there. That is heavy duty. How you doing, uh, Kevin? Kevin? This is 60 mil, heavy duty. Sixty. Thick. One solid piece, one into the other. <coughs> we don't do them all this way. But since this one's so flat, except for that one spot right there, which one once we start gluing and rolling it out, it should be fine. These things aren't going to be straight. If you see what your trailer roof looks like to start with, it's not going to be uh, straight. Um, even if you put plywood on it. It's going to take a lot of the wrinkles out of it. You can take one that looks pretty bad and get a lot of the, uh, a lot of the ripples out of them from walking on them over the years by putting plywood on it. So, uh, but you're not going to get it all, especially when it's as bad as this one was. Somebody had walked on this roof, and they walked there, and they walked there, across that peak, thinking that they could walk across it, and it just crumbled in. It crumbles in on the top side, but nothing, no, no damage or anything on the inside. But anyway, one, one big piece of rubber here, and, uh, and then a porch. So, in order to do the transition, let me show you this. This is pretty cool. And by the way, thanks for sticking with me and watching my videos throughout my cancer treatment. Feel much better now. Here we go, look at this. You seen where it was before earlier on the video. That's wide that was basically wide open with the overhang that we put on it. And uh, to tie the porch in. Since it went down to the level it did, we just have this rubber to go across it right here. Just going over it. Right? Up there and then this is going to come down and glue down to here. But up here we built the whole wall straight out. Hope I'm not moving it too much on this camera. But we built the wall straight out like and went right up that wall with rubber. Went right up that whole wall with rubber. Looks good. Looks good. And then we'll have termination bar here. And this box that we built right over here, what we did here, close that in like that. The rubber will wrap around that, and then it'll be a piece of metal covering that. Nice piece of metal. So it's looking good. What we got here. All right, yep. Special metal turn bar, glue that big piece down. Be good to go. Makes a big difference. We always do this over the doorway. It's 
just make that out of a piece of metal. That little bit of rubber there gets cut off. Probably light. Finished product out here. Back. Back. I hadn't looked at it. You mean where it's finished? Huh? You mean right here? No. no. Oh, I didn't Far see it. In. I can't. The rubber's hanging over the edge. I can't see it. Yeah. Termination bar. How's it going, Matthew? Take, take your time down to you, dude. You want to be careful cutting that one. Oh, this one. This thing looks great. Look at that. Look at that. I like it a lot. The homeowner has been here watching the whole process. He loves it a lot. Getting ready to put all our new vents back in. Not new. I'm actually going to use the ones that came out because they're so so nice. Huh? I, didn't, I know you don't. You're going to cut that probably with scissors? Pair of scissors? I cut it with a pair of scissors. Uh oh. Take the whole gallon over. Spilling. 
the matter, buddy? Wanna... Yeah. Come flush with that and just angle it down. Wherever it's going to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make the other one go down to it. Yeah. The top of that is the top of that. Yeah, you got it. These are something else, boy. Half the time they even do it when they don't actually even need something. They'll just take it. Just to take. I know they think they find that. Yeah. They will take it just to take it. That's Paula. <laughs> Paula Dean. Yeah. What? This one, sir. You don't need it right now. Need it now. No, not going to bend that. Walk anywhere he wants to. 300 pound man. That's doing something right there, buddy. You can get up here and walk anywhere you want. I like that we went with the black on the, uh, on those aluminum. Yeah, me too. Caps. Yeah, that looks cool. Looks good. We had that second coating this morning. Yeah, I seen that. I seen you working on them first thing. It needed it bad. The first coat, part of the first coat came off, I seen. But damn it, these look good. Sir, look at that homeowner walking on this thing like he's on the ground, and he's a big boy. Tell me this makes your house roof weak. This does not make it weak. It does anything? It makes it strong.
Beautiful. One bent done. One bent pipe done. Alright, how to do a vent pipe. Start off with, you have to write the right kind of caulking. And we're using Carlisle rubber, so we're using Carlisle um, black cement. Paul, would you put a little more in there? See that? I'm missing a gap, that's all, buddy. Make sure we got it real good. Put plenty of caulk, because you, know, you always want to have plenty. <coughs> Glue it, stick it on the hole. Center it up, stick it down. They give you the first four screws, and then you go in between every screw after that. Just as if it was a metal roof or something like that, rubber, so. around the outside edge. Finished. What do you think? <coughs> you like it? Hit the like button. Or even share it with a friend of yours you even think might like it. You know anybody that needs a mobile home roof like this? Still got some screws in the turn bar missing. I mean, uh, fascia. See that? Picking up nails. Down on that end.